Imagine this, a weapon so terrifying, it once held an entire city in the grip of fear. This was the reality for Londoners during World War II, with the deployment of the V-1 flying bombs. The V-1 flying bombs, also known as the buzz bombs or doodle bugs, were not just weapons of physical destruction, but also potent tools of psychological warfare. Picture this, an eerie, pulsating hum filling the air growing louder and more intense, then suddenly cutting out, leaving a chilling silence. This silence marked the descent of the V-1, a harbinger of imminent explosion and destruction. London was the primary target of these terror bombings. The V-1 bombs were launched from sites in occupied Europe, raining down on the city with devastating effects. Over a span of several months, thousands of these bombs were fired, causing massive destruction. Whole city blocks were reduced to rubble, historic landmarks were damaged, and countless innocent lives were lost. The scale of destruction was immense, but perhaps even more impactful was the psychological terror these bombs instilled. The unpredictable nature of the attacks, coupled with the distinctive, terrifying sound of the incoming bombs, created a constant state of fear and anxiety. People lived in anticipation of the next attack, never knowing when or where it would come. This was a new kind of warfare, one that targeted not just the physical infrastructure, but also the morale and spirit of a population. The V-1 attacks were a stark reminder of the ruthlessness of war, the willingness to cause widespread fear and suffering in pursuit of victory. The V-1 flying bombs were more than just weapons. They were instruments of terror, setting the stage for a new era of warfare. The legacy of these bombs extends beyond the physical destruction they caused. They marked a shift in military strategy, introducing the concept of psychological warfare, which continues to shape conflicts to this day. The V-1 flying bombs were more than just weapons, they were instruments of terror, setting the stage for a new era of warfare. The birth of the V-1 flying bomb was steeped in secrecy, ambition, and a desperate need for a game changer. It was the early 1940s, the world was in the throes of the Second World War, and Germany was seeking an edge, something to tip the scales in their favor. The answer, they hoped, would be the V-1 flying bomb, a weapon of unprecedented devastation. The initial concept was bold, to say the least. A self-propelled, guided missile, capable of carrying a heavy payload and striking targets with pinpoint accuracy. This was a new breed of weapon, the likes of which had never been seen before. The man who spearheaded this ambitious project was none other than Fritz Goslau, an engineer with a vision, a vision of a weapon that could turn the tide of the war. The development of the V-1 was fraught with challenges. The technology was cutting edge and untested. The design had to be adjusted and readjusted, each time inching closer to Goslau's vision. The propulsion system, guidance system and payload capacity all had to be perfected. It was a race against time, with the outcome of the war hanging in the balance. But Goslau and his team were relentless. They worked tirelessly, overcoming the technical hurdles one by one. The V-1 began to take shape. It was sleek, menacing and deadly. The final design was a testament to German engineering and a chilling harbinger of the destruction it was designed to unleash. The V-1 was more than just a weapon. It was a symbol a symbol of German technological prowess, of their determination to win at all costs. But more than that, it was a symbol of a new era in warfare, an era of automated destruction where battles could be won and lost, not by soldiers on the ground, but by machines in the sky. The V-1 flying bomb started as an ambitious idea and ended as a deadly reality, changing the course of the war and history itself. With the V-1 flying bomb ready for deployment, World War II was about to enter a new and terrifying phase. The Germans unveiled their secret weapon in June 1944, a sleek, unmanned flying machine that would become an instrument of terror. The strategy behind the V-1 was as simple as it was chilling. The Nazis aimed to bombard London and other key Allied locations with these buzz bombs, thereby sowing fear and chaos amongst the civilian population. The effectiveness of this strategy was felt immediately. The V-1 was not just a weapon, it was a psychological tool designed to demoralize the enemy and break their spirit. The V-1 flying bomb was deceptively simple in its construction. It was essentially a pilotless aircraft, carrying an explosive payload of nearly 1,000 kilograms. It was propelled by a pulse jet engine, 
which gave it a distinctive and terrifying sound that earned it the nickname Buzz Bomb. The first deployment of the V-1 was against London, and the impact was immediate and devastating. The city was subjected to relentless bombardment day and night, with the Buzz Bomb becoming a dreaded part of daily life. The V-1 could strike anywhere, at any time, and there was little that could be done to stop it. The Allies were caught off guard by the V-1, but they quickly began to adapt. They developed strategies to intercept and destroy the V-1S before they could reach their targets. They used fighter aircraft to shoot them down, and even experimented with using barrage balloons to ensnare them. This was a battle not just of technology, but of wits and innovation. The V-1 flying bomb was indeed a game-changer. It marked a new era in warfare, one where unmanned weapons could be used to sow terror from the skies. It forced the Allies to rethink their strategies, to adapt and innovate in order to survive. And in doing so, it changed the course of World War II, and indeed, the face of warfare forever. The V-1 flying bomb left a lasting legacy, both in its immediate aftermath and in the years to follow. The immediate aftermath of its deployment painted a grim picture. The human cost was tremendous. Thousands of lives were lost, and countless more were changed forever. Physical destruction was widespread, with cities reduced to rubble and landscapes forever altered. Yet, amid the devastation, humanity's resilience shone through. Communities rallied together to rebuild, and the world watched in awe as cityscapes, once decimated, rose like phoenixes from the ashes. But the echoes of the V1's thunderous roar did not fade with the rebuilding. They reverberated into the future, influencing the course of warfare and weapon development. The V-1 flying bomb was a grim reminder of the destructive power humans could wield. Yet it was also a testament to the ingenuity of human engineering. It marked a significant milestone in the history of weaponry, introducing the world to the concept of unmanned, guided weapons. The V-1 was, in essence, the precursor to today's cruise missiles and drones. Its influence didn't stop at the battlefield. The technology behind the V-1 also contributed to the development of space exploration. Yes, the same technology that once brought terror, later propelled humans towards the stars. It's a stark reminder of how the same tools can be used for destruction or discovery, depending on the hands that wield them. In the grand scheme of warfare, the V-1 flying bomb was a game changer. It reshaped strategies and forced nations to rethink their defenses. It set the stage for a new era of warfare, one that relied not just on brute force, but also on technological superiority. The V-1 flying bomb was more than a weapon of war. It was a harbinger of the future, setting the stage for the era of guided missiles and modern warfare. It's a legacy that continues to influence the world, a testament to the power of human ingenuity and a stark reminder of the costs of war. The V-1 flying bomb was a turning point in World War II and in the history of warfare itself. This statement captures the essence of our exploration today. We delved into the profound impact of the V-1 flying bomb, a weapon that introduced a new level of terror and destruction during the Second World War. The indiscriminate nature of its deployment over civilian areas, primarily in London, instilled fear and dread in the hearts of millions. The devastating effects of these bombs were not only physical, but also psychological, altering the landscape of warfare and society. We journeyed back to the birth of the V-1 flying bomb, tracing its origins to the inventive mines at Peenemünde, Germany. The development of this weapon was a testament to the innovative, albeit destructive, capabilities of human ingenuity. The V-1 was a technological marvel of its time, albeit one harnessed for devastating purposes. The deployment of the V-1 flying bomb was a significant chapter in our discussion. The launch sites in the Pas de Calais region of France became harbingers of dread, launching over 9,000 of these fearsome weapons towards England. The V-1, with its distinctive pulse jet engine sound, became an ominous symbol of the relentless advance of warfare technology. Our narrative reached a critical juncture as we explored the aftermath and legacy of the V-1 flying bomb. While the war eventually ended, the impact of this weapon lived on, influencing the development of future missile technology and shaping military strategies. Its legacy is a stark reminder of the destructive potential of technology when used for aggressive purposes. In conclusion, the V-1 flying bomb was more than a weapon. It was a symbol of a changing world, a world where technology and warfare became inextricably linked. 
It underscored the importance of ethical considerations in technological advancement. The V-1 flying bomb, a weapon of fear and destruction, forever changed the face of warfare, leaving a legacy that still resonates today.